Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be looking at a sci-fi box of Space Nam, a collaboration between Wargames Atlantic and the Reptilian Overlords. Okay, Wargames Atlantic and the Reptilian Overlords combined to bring you 20 multi-part hard plastic Space Nam figures. So this is an interesting collaboration from Wargames Atlantic. Now the Reptilian Overlords do STL files, so you can already get these as, as 3D sculpts if that's your thing. However, for people not involved in the old 3D printing, I think it's great that they've buddied up to do a hard plastic tooling of the basic troopers. And if you do do 3D printing, you can always pick up characters and others from them. So you get a bit of a fluff here from the depths of the jungle worlds where plant life will eat you the cold ozone scented corridors of the derelict space raiders. Reptilian Overlord Space Nam are the perfect models to take on ravaging alien invaders, zombies, even rogue AI. 20 in there with a whole gallery bucket load of rifles, weapons, and additional. I crack it open. You get five sprues, each making four miniatures. As you can see, a sprue is here. So, I'll show you the reverse, and then we'll have a look at the good stuff. As you can see, well laid out, and like always with War Games Atlantic, plenty of bits and most importantly, head options, um, which is great whenever you're building a lot of troopers to uh, get around having to do a lot of duplicates. So we've got four sets of legs, and then we've got the four torsos, which are halved at the top. Um, we have a set of bear heads, shall we say? So bandanas, mohawks, scarves, soft cap here. This side we have a set of um, berade heads. I almost forgot the word there. Uh, we also have some grenades, four of those, canteen pouches, little sort of bread baggy type pouch and smaller ammo pouches for clips, along with a few more hidden in the middle. Uh, we have three, I want to say, yeah, I believe it's three, three of these, so one, two, and the third in here, um, which could be Walkie-talkies could be remotes for claymores, up to you. Um, if you are going to use them as walkie-talkies, I would stick a big whippy aerial out of it, just with a, a, a bristle from a, a brush or a cat whisker, if you've got cats. Track them down. A little bit of flashing around some of the pieces. It's around this bald guy's head, chin and ear. However, it is... Very thin flash, so that'll scrape off or buff off with wire wool. There's also a little bit of flashing along the top of some of these um, shoulder guards and neck guards. But a nice combination of body armor and fabric on the, the upper torsos. And then obviously one Arnie-esque um, rippling six pack, eight pack, party seven in the middle. Arm-wise, we have a few rifles. How many is a few? So, one, two, three, four rifles, five if you include the carried, which is good for four bodies, so everybody can have a rifle. And then special weapons, we have a scoped sniper, some sort of plasma, a flamethrower, uh, what could be a melter if you're playing 40k, and a grenade launcher. And then over here we have pistol, massive machete, saw toothed, and then a smaller combat knife. So arms are all lettered and numbered. So L5 goes with R4. So you can find the correct orientation. Um, yeah, it's a nice looking sprue. Plenty of weapon options and head options, so you can do a lot with it. 
Uh, so let's have a little zoom in and take a look at some of the built miniatures. So I've gone with the scar chomping Dylan. You son of a bitch. Uh, leaning a bit forward, ball socket joint. Um, I built these and then glued them onto bases. What I should have done was what you should always do, which is glue them onto a base first and then pose them. Uh, so he's plowing forward, whereas he should be more upright. But that's down to me being an idiot and not the sculpt. I do like the, the jacket open. I've always had a plan to play Predator using the Walking Dead rules where you play the Predator and hunt the uh, special forces as they wander around like the walkers. I may still do that. Then we have one of our special weapons, grenade launcher underway. Like I say the build on all of these was very easy. Um, seam lines, easy to get to and they're plastic, they're not too egregious. So, I mean, the ones on the legs follow a lot of the actual molding and detail. So you've really only got to clean it off the things like the putties on the bottom, because it comes along the back of the knee pad and along the seam on the pouch on his legs, the front of that seam there. So they don't need to be cleaned. Uh, so minimal seam lines, minimal cleaning. When you put them together, there is slight um, depression, I suppose, uh, just at the the joint point of the, the torso, front and back. So you've got very clean cast on the torsos and the slight issues with the um, moulds lining up are hidden when the arms go on. So you might see uh, when you put them together that there's um, slightly more mould lines on those pieces or slight uh, pitting where the two halves come together. Um, but I just ran a knife straight across them and glued the arms on and it hides all of that join. So again, you've got a slight clean up to do on the base of the torso. Then we have one of our close combat specialists. If I had a major gripe, it would be the one pistol. I know most people only use them for sergeants and the like, uh, but it'd be nice to be able to do full squads. However, if you're looking to do multiple squads in your force um, with these, then you're probably going to end up with quite a lot of spare pistols, but it'll just mean that you'll have one pistol repeated in the entire squad. However, it's at an angle, so you can have a few up, few down, that sort of thing. Here we have a bandana wearing sniper. I absolutely love that figure. I love that model. Um, the gun on it is beautiful. Just need to drill out all the barrels. I also like the attention to detail with the, uh, I suppose the venting for the, the recoil, gas recoil at the top. Although it doesn't necessarily have to be a gas recoil, but they do have that sort of look to them. So that's a, a set of the sort of generic Space Nam types. I also put together another set with the berets on, like a, a special forces type of thing because I couldn't help myself, really. Again, really nice, interesting sculpts. A lot of detail on the faces and clean up, like I say, slight fa flashing around the top of the body armor and some of the heads, but the weapons, legs, main torsos and arms are all crisp. So you don't have an issue with any of those. There's somebody heaving a granaten at somebody's head, which is the best way to deal with people, I feel. Uh, you may also have noticed there's only one Bergen per sprue. But again, I would tend to use things like that for veterans uh, or to designate somebody in a unit. So maybe a looter for a, a special weapon as part of a team. If you need more Bergens, there are plenty of places to get them. Indeed, Reptilian Overlords actually has a little Bergen STL file if you do that printy thing. So you can print off, a, I think, about six or seven different types uh, from one pack. 
So it gives you options there. Okay, so before we go, have a quick look at size, because size matters. So they're listed as 28 mil. They are 32 to eye level, which is, let's face it, what 28 mil has become these days. Um, everybody is bigger and chunkier in the future. However, they are scaled to match the other um, Deathfield sci-fi that uh, War Games Atlantic have done. So if I bring in one of the ladies, you can see size-wise identical in height, which means you can mix and match. But obviously they've got that steroid-induced Kalachan feel to them. There we go, some hard plastic multi-part sci-fi Nam Troopers, baby Ogrins, Kalachans, if you're playing 40k, or if you're dropping them into something like Xenos Rampant, Stargrave, Laser Burn. There's so many games you could be playing. They replace your GCPS in uh, Dead Zone and Firefight even. Uh, fantastic looking kit. Really like the fact that there's this collaboration to get the hard plastic troopers out there. I don't do 3D printing myself, no interest in it. I know a lot of people do, but it's nice to be able to go, I really like those and now I can get them. Uh, and then if you do happen to be a, a 3D print fanatic, you can always pick up the additional pieces or characters, whatever it happens to be, to fill out your force. And uh, let me know what you think below, if you've been playing around with the reptilian overlord stuff before, and whether or not you'll be trying to shoehorn these onto your tabletop. Until next time, bye bye. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.